Okay, today we have Gary O'Connor, the president and CEO of Moneta Gold. Welcome, Gary. Ah, thank you, and thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Sure. So tell us a little bit about your background, Gary. Uh, myself, I'm a geologist. I've got 38 years experience in the business. I've worked for many of the majors, been associated with some, some of the world's greatest discoveries, some large discoveries and large projects that have gone into production. I'm now running uh, Moneta Gold, and we're looking to bring in a major new gold producer here in North America. Excellent. How many years have you been with the company? I've been with the company just uh, over four years. I've been CEO for the last three and a half. Excellent. So tell us about your team and executive board and how they differentiate from the market. Look, we've got a very well-experienced uh, project delivery team. We just uh, added to the team. We're, we've been adding key positions as we move the project forward. Jerry Rogers joined recently, VP Projects, extensive experience on delivering our uh, projects, um, operating projects, operating mines and building them. Jason Dankowski joined recently as VP Technical Services. They augment the team already there, which consisted of Vince Deschamps, Director of Sustainability, Adam Kashishian, VP uh, Corporate Development, and as well as Jason McIntosh, who's our CFO and Corporate Secretary. The board also, very diverse board, experienced board, a lot of experience there in both delivering, uh, building, as well as operating large projects, gold projects, as well as uh, other commodities, and very diverse and a very broad skill set. So we're, we're very fortunate to have such a you know high performance team. Excellent. Sounds like a broad and diverse team. Yes, no, it is. It's, <laughs> it's really, yeah, really quite, some really quite uh, high, high producers in the team. And yeah, I'm, I'm lucky to be associated with them. Right. So talk about the company and where some of the assets are. Okay, the company, Mineta Gold, we're based in Timmins. Uh, we're a TSX listed company. We're on the main board. Um, but our focus is the Timmins area. It's Canada's most prolific gold mining camp. Uh, it's produced more gold than any other camp in, the, in, the, in Canada. We have a large project there. Um, we have a large land holding. The company has been in the, in the camp for you know a long time and have put together a very good land package. Our main asset, the Tower Gold Project, is located 100 kilometers east of Timmins on Highway 101, major regional highway. We've, we've got operating mines you know, east and west of us within 15 to 20 kilometers. And so we're in a very fortunate position to be in a great location. Great. So what percentage of that land is production versus drilling and exploration? Uh, the focus is the Tower Gold Project. We do have land around Timmins. It's very, it's exploration land. We have land, you know, uh, to the west as, and also along the Desta Porcupine Fault. That's the main fault structure around which all the production currently occurs. Our focus is the Tower Gold Project. You know, we've got over 9,000 hectares there on the project and we are advancing that project. We've been doing extensive drilling. We just completed a PEA, that's a preliminary economic assessment, and it showed very good economics. So we're now moving ahead into pre-feasibility and looking to de-risk and move the project forward. Great. So with that in mind, what are your financials like? Ah, uh, good. We just did a large raise. We have 18 million in cash. It's enough to take us through this uh, major dr drilling program. We just we've we've just commenced with the completion of the PEA. We've got another hundred thousand meters to drill. Uh, that will be part of the PEA resource definition infill drilling. That will form the basis of the pre feasibility. We're looking to have that uh, completed in early 2024. We'll finish the drilling next year, Q3 resource update, Q4, and and then as mentioned, a PFS study, a pre feasibility study. Um, we've got the money to take us through to that, and um, we're looking forward to, you know, deli to delivering those results to the market. So you're, what is your debt at this point? Uh, no debt. We're debt-free. We own all of our assets 100%. There's no encumbrances. The majority of our resources, which occur in the Golden Highway portion of the Tower Gold Project, have no royalties. They're, they're, they're free of any encumbrances. The garrison portion of Tower Gold Project, on average, has about a 1.5% royalty of which we can purchase back on average about half a percent. Interesting. So what kind of assay results are you getting from your drilling? Look, the we have both high-grade underground and bulk tonnage uh, resources. 
We've actually got 12.8 million ounces in, in resources. We just completed a PEA study. It showed a 24 year mine life. The first 11 years, we're mining at 1.3 grams per ton. We're producing 261,000 ounces a year. We're doing this at a cash cost of 811 US dollars an ounce uh, cash cost and 1,004 US dollars an ounce all in sustaining cost. Sounds like pretty good margins. Yeah, no, it's, it was, the project was uh, done at a 1600 uh, base case gold price. Our NPV at a 5% discount using 1600 US gold price uh, comes at a, just under 1.1 billion Canadian, 32% IRR and a 2.6 year payback. Very robust and, and it's, uh, it's great leverage to higher gold prices. So it, the current gold price, of course, we have a significantly higher NPV and as well as a significantly higher IRR and a, and a shorter payback period. Excellent. So are you pulling anything else out of the ground except gold? Uh, the, pro the project is primary gold. There will be a minor amount of byproduct silver, but it won't be a major component. Gold is, gold is the primary commodity. Okay. So I think you've got some good strengths, no debt, good executive team. What kind of weaknesses would you say you have and how are you addressing them? Um, I, I don't see any weaknesses. We're in, we're, in a, we're in a great camp. You know, it's a lot of gold produced there. Safe jurisdiction, good location, good team. Um, we're moving things forward. And um, I guess the only I guess the only concern maybe in the industry at the moment is the, you know, has been the effects of the pandemic, the inflation that's incurred, the supply chain issues. But when we put this project into production, you know, we feel we'll be well through some of the recent hiccups and we'll be in a good position to to move the, move the project forward and complete our feasibility studies and, and deliver, you know, shareholder value. Great, great. So let's say next year comes around and you're getting a little tight on capital. What are your options for funding? Um, we've got a great shareholder base. We've got most of the major precious metal funds uh, as shareholders here in North America, you know, throughout Canada, the U.S., we just had some major investments by some of the bigger precious metals funds here in the US. Franklin Templeton came in, Gabelli had to their position, Libre came in, and in, and in Canada, uh, McKenzie Financial added to their position, Extract, we've got RBC, Scotiabank, 1832, Dundee Goodman, these are all, you know, very highly sophisticated precious metal investors and they cornerstone our, our company, have continued to support us as we've moved it forward. So would you consider another round of uh, financing for uh, an offering? Um, at the moment, the market, markets are weak. We're lucky we did a fundraising uh, two months ago. We're able to do it as a charity flow through. We got a 45% premium to market. We didn't, we, there was no need to uh, issue any warrants. So we're warrant free. Um, we'd really be looking for more strength in the market before we go back for, you know, to raise any more. But we have, we have options to do that. We think, you know, next year, We'd probably like to raise more to just to complete the end of the pre-feasibility study. Of course, cash us up to get us through the feasibility and thus have the project ready for, you know, ready for construction and have it fully permitted. Great. What are your thoughts on getting financing from a royalty company one day? We do have that option. About 80% of our ounces are not subject to any royalty. We do have that option. That's one thing we could look at for, you know, financing the project. Um, there are other options we have, you know, there's gold streams, there's convertibles. Um, of course, we'd be looking for conventional debt for the majority of it, but we have other options, you know, royalties, even equity. We'll address those, you know, when we come to them and, and, and we need to put those things in place. Okay. So your shareholder mix sounds like there's a lot of institutional. What's left with retail and insider? Okay. We have about just over 40% institutional, 3 to 4% insider. We've got 24% by O3 Mining, from whom we acquired the Garrison project. So the remainder is retail and, you know, that's where we, you know, like to drive our value. We don't see a lot of um, buy-in required to move the stock. And so we, we think with, you know, just generating a little bit more demand here, we can easily readily get the stock back up into, you know, to, to, to higher values. And we're working on that as we speak. Okay. Sounds good. What are your ideas on future uh, opportunities, exit strategies, mergers, acquisitions? How do you feel about that? Look, we've, we've put together a project that we can build, that we can fund. 
We didn't go for a major, you know, high capital, high throughput uh, project. We put together something that has very good return on the capital invested. It's still, you know, it's a it's a major deposit over two hundred thousand ounces a year for eleven years. You know, it's two hundred sixty one thousand ounces. Good good cash. Uh, you know, payback. Uh, we look. We're, we're a public company. It is possible. You know, the, the size of this project is something that many of the majors and mid tier would would like to get their hands on. We're, we're at the subject of the of the market. However, we feel we can de-risk this and move it forward and and continue to add value to our you know to our stakeholders and to our our shareholders. Okay, excellent. What what would you say is your competitive advantage? Our competitive advantage, well, location. Uh, you know, we're on a great location. We're in a great safe jurisdiction. We're in an area where there's lots of mining. There's lots of previous uh, uh, mining in the area, skilled workforce, um, access to contractors, consultants, the infrastructure, power, you know, electricity, water. Um, you know, this is great location. There's a you know, major highway running right past the, the project. And, you know, this all adds up to being a, you know, a prime location to be, to, to be developing a project. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like you've got a great mix. What would you say is your valuation compared to your peers? At the moment, we we see significant upside in our valuation. We're trading for less than ten dollars an ounce. Our price to to NAV were un, well under twenty percent. You know, the 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 project showed a NPV at you know sixteen hundred gold at you know just under one point one billion. We're trading at about one hundred and seventy million Canadian dollars. So that's, you know, that's well under 20%, you know, a normal project of this, at this stage would be more in the 40 to 50% of NAV. So we, we see the ability to at least triple our gold, our share price in the, you know, in the short term. Right. That sounds like some good numbers. Um, what, let's talk about the macroeconomic environment. What do you feel is going to happen and when do you think gold is going to have its day? Look, we're in an environment now, there's inflation, you know, we've got wars happening. Uh, com- countries are going into recession. Um, the, the really, I think the only thing that's been holding back the gold price at the moment is the high U.S. dollar. As the U.S. dollar's gone up, gold gold has come off. But I think we're in a prime position now for to gold to do a good run, and I think we'll see that over the over the coming you know months and years. Right. Okay. Good. Well, you said something in the beginning. I think you're looking at other. Um, locations to expand to. Was that North America you mentioned? Uh, actually, I didn't, but we are looking. We always have our eye open for mergers, for acquisitions. We did it last year. We acquired Garrison Row 3 Mining. Um, it really helped us put this project together. We are looking at other, you know, projects that may add value. We're looking to continue to consolidate the the, the belt. However, we'll, we'll only do what's right for our shareholders. If it makes sense, we'll do it. But um, we're definitely open to adding more value and and delivering that to the shareholders. Great, sounds very shareholder centric, which is good. Look, that's that's the job we're in. We're at, we're here to produce, generate value, both you know our shareholders and and all our stakeholders. You know, there's a much broader community we we deal with, and we we're here to add you know value to everybody. Great. So, what kind of uh, last minute thoughts or additions would you like to add? Look, we've just put together, this is, you know, it's fresh off the press, a great, you know, a project, uh, great value, good return on investment, capital's not too high, cash flows well, good return, you know, cheap, uh, well, good, good, I'll say, I won't say, the word is good solid production costs, both as a cash cost and an all-in sustaining cost, so this is very robust, the project's robust all the way down to 1300 US gold an ounce price, so you know, the the real message is that there's lots of value drivers here and lots of value to be added, and we're looking to add that. So, yeah, you know, thank you. Sure. So it sounds like your all-in costs are low. Like, let's say gold drops 20 30%. You guys are well insulated, no debt, low cash-in costs. Exactly. Look, gold could drop. We could have this project in production. Gold, gold could drop to $1,300 an ounce. It'd still be making money. It's be, still be return on investment, and it's a solid investment. Of course, gold goes the other way. There's, you know, we're very leveraged to the gold price, and it have significant returns then. Great. What is the best way for people to follow you guys? Look, we put out press releases. We're on Twitter, 
We're on LinkedIn. Um, you can visit our website. All of our information is there. And, and we're looking to, you know, to broaden that into the likes of, you know, th th this, uh, this platform to get, our, to get our story out. Great. Great. Thank you for your time, Gary. No, thank you very much.